now that I am back. I got another video that we should chat. Hey! That's your how everyone. And I'm back with another video. Now I know this is not the YouTuber experience that you guys want. But again, I'm going to do that at a later time. So basically today we're going to talk about gum. No, not the gum that you eat. We're talking about the gum that basically have 1 million subscribers. So how did the gum reach its fame or where it is now? Well, basically what the gum did for a living is it did diss tracks and live streaming while basically making fun of everyone. That's how the gum got the grind of all time. Why did I use the Chinese intro for the beginning? Well, this video is about how the gum got to go to Hong Kong. Now, the first mistake off the bat while the gum was in Hong Kong is when it arrived there, they used the Japanese flag instead of the actual Hong Kong flag. You see, this is the Japan flag, and you see this one right here is the Hong Kong flag. Know the difference, you know what I'm saying? Know the difference. Well, if you think that's the train wreck, oh, oh, buckle up because you're about to prepare yourself for a ride, ride of your life. life. So basically the second part that was wrong off the bat is basically when the gum arrived with its friend and saw like the airport things that are on top of the thing, it basically had the signs that were translated, but for some reason it can't read. I don't know why, because it's right in front of its face and it's just plain obvious. How can I read it? While it was there at the airport, it basically was trying to make fun of everyone else's English that are in Hong Kong. Can you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Even though, like, English is very optional and they can speak it, they just don't freaking feel like it. Especially around idiots like the gum. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to, they, they don't have to either. He said that Hong Kong people don't know English, and I'm from Hong Kong, and I obviously know English, so... Oh, you know English very well. Your level is higher. You don't know higher. And let me tell you something. I'm 12 years old, but I bet my English standard is probably better than you. No offense. I'm just saying the truth. And we're basically going to pour salt on this situation, which... Shouts out to my girl Salt. I love you, girl. Like, just keep pouring salt onto the gum. While we're at it, we might as well burn it with a torch. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm not even calling out its name because basically it already has enough bad press as it is. So that's why I'm just going to use the word gum throughout this whole video. All right, now let's get back into the story. It's amazing, like, before it even went outside to check out the world of Hong Kong, that basically it kept saying, it's like it's a different world, even though basically this type of view is, well, it looks the same as Los Angeles view. So basically when it first went out with its friend to, um, you know, check out the sights of Hong Kong, bumped into somebody because it was vlogging and you know how that goes. So anyway... It went to one part, it went to go check out some food and it shows a bunch of meat. Basically, like anything, he would say, oh, it looks like dog or cat. So let's try it out. Even though like on later videos, as you can see right here. You are so smart. You should have known that Hong Kong has banned dog and cat meat in the 1950s. So we don't eat them anymore. So no meow meow for you. I'm sorry. Hong Kong 早已经喺一九五零年禁止咗食猫肉狗肉。你无知，我仲可以接受啊。但身为一个养狗人士，我真系一啲都笑唔出。Yeah, it's like it's it's banned. Like that doesn't even happen anymore. And basically, it's like you're just pulling out an old stereotype. I know what you guys are going to say to me, and it's basically what it already said already is that. Oh, he's Asian. He's allowed to do that because he's joking. But the the biggest difference is is that basically when you're joking, you don't actually mean what you say. This is very different because it is meaning what it says, 
And it's just going out basically making a fool of not only itself and its other partner, but also everybody around them when they're just, just trying to chill. How can you just take it for granted that your joke will be appreciated? So the next point part, it, it, it now started asking where are the dogs at or do you know the gum? Which no one does. You think we don't understand what you're talking about? You think we can't get the message? Get what you're trying to imply here? And the interesting thing is, is that I've now realized why it wanted to make a video of basically going to Hong Kong. Even though the title said I left the cloud house. Basic clickbait as always. Like, congratulations, Gump. You did the, you did the clickbait once again. Congratulations. It basically said, like, everybody in the comments are saying go back to China, even though the gum is originally Vietnamese. So it's very ironic that it is offended when people tell it to basically go back to Asia, even though what he's doing is making the same comments outside in Asia alone. I thought you were Chinese, but you said here you're Chinese and you said here you're not Chinese. So which, which one are you, Rice? Are you Chinese or you're not Chinese? And the, the one thing that's really messed up that I feel it's going to be a meme, but also it should be something that we should think about from time to time is when it uh, could not finish its ice cream and it wants to give it to somebody. So there was an old man that just came by. He basically was like this, like, it means no, but it in its friend basically forced this poor old dude to eat the ice cream that he basically ate and just force him to eat it. And I'm just thinking, but why? That's the, it's just a waste of food. You don't want ice cream? Oh my god! He doesn't like to waste. But to become a waste man. That's so rude. That he said no, and you said no, eat it, eat it, eat it. And then he took it and kind of mian tian the chili you call. That's bullying an old man, dude. That, how is that funny? Like, who's laughing at that? I don't understand. If you're laughing at that, then there's something wrong with you. How about the next time? I have a lollipop. I finished half of them, full with my saliva, and I just put it in your mouth. I'm doing that with the best intention. Oh, what's happening on your face? Your face is strange now. Oh, sorry for ice cream. Finish your own ice cream. You're a grown man. If you're full and you don't want to eat ice cream, don't eat three bites of it and then give it to some old man who so happens to be my grandfather's friend. To top it off, the video ends with it getting a foot massage like we really care and it just went back to normal. Getting a massage was a happy ending. Just don't ever think you can talk yourself out that easily. So now afterwards, I think, I think either two weeks later or a week after the lady, the video was already published, it decided to basically have a response. And basically um, what its response was, oh, they don't get the humor or it was like, all I was, all I was trying to do was have fun. It's my video. I could do what I want. Ow, 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 ow. Cry me a river, bro. What are you on about? And it also played the victim card. Now, isn't that something it's playing the victim card here? And it really goes to show that over two years or how long it's been on YouTube. Um, and it's basically when iDubs did a content cop on it, it just seems like it never learns its lesson. It just kept doing what it had to do. And basically it's playing the victim of saying like, Oh, like, you know, it's just a joke. It's like, why is, why, why are people in China mad at me? It really just goes to show, Gum, that no matter where you go, if you keep doing the dumb actions that you do every time, everybody just hates you. No matter where you go, your actions are basically going to be hated. That's why you are getting the heat, and that is why, like, all this mad or bad press is being made by you. But there's a difference between making people laugh and laughing at people. Right. In your video, you were just laughing at people with your chunky security guard. At this rate, you're really no different than Kim Jong-un. I'm sorry, I had to say it. You're, you're no different than Kim Jong-un. I know the No Freakers uh, said it 
very sooner. But yeah, you're no different. You're basically no different than Kim Jong Un at this rate. That is a racist. Yes. I am racist. <laughs> also, the worst rude behavior besides the ice cream thing is when a store was closing for shoes and basically they just ran in there and basically like the person would kept saying we're closed but they kept thinking they said closed. You know what I'm saying? Just ignorance at its finest, you know what I'm talking about? My little had my something my high my my clothes, uh, my shoes. Uh. <laughs> ignorance. Let's give it up to ignorance. Yay! <laughs> I really do take a liking to Asian culture to almost ten years ago. Especially like since we're talking about China here. I mean my biggest inspiration about China is not just Jackie Chan, but there's also Marvis Fan and my new favorite that just came straight out of Chengdu, Higher Brothers. They got it popping. Here's what a few other people had to say about the situation. And I know that earlier I have put clips about every other YouTuber about their um situation and whatnot. Their link of that video, or if you want to know more about their channel, is down below. And also, for this special video, I am going to try to basically translate this in Chinese if I can. I think in your video, you're just trying to show us how cute and how funny you are. That's gonna get you a one way ticket back to where you came from. Because I think the only thing worth than a block who don't even know how to respect other people is a narcissism in full denial. I don't I I don't know what to say. When I first reacted to that video, like the beginning was kind of funny because it was kind of like little taste, but as I got like more and more into the video, I saw that this is just unacceptable and in case you're wondering, scum, I already reported your video and please have some respect not for you and it's not this world is not yours, okay? And I told you to post a video of you saying an apology, and you didn't. You just said, why do Chinese people hate me so much? If you really want to know why, go back to your video, watch the subtitles, and see what you have said to the people from the place that I am am and I am in right now, and shove your ego inside your butt and never take it out again. If Gum made a third video, it would basically be like, oh, they're just hating on me because I'm Asian. No, it really doesn't matter where you go. If you do the dumb stuff anywhere you go, you're going to get charged. You're going to have the criticism. It's just not accepted everywhere. Ignorance and just flexing just doesn't go anywhere. That's like if I, if I went uh, back to my hometown in Baton Rouge in the hood and or went to Africa and basically just start flexing and dissing. When it comes to comedians, we usually make fun of ourselves as well. And the thing that we talk about, we don't actually do it in public. We just say it as jokes, but we don't actually go to that country and actually basically make fools of them. We don't do that there. That's just the thing I've learned from my own parents. There is now a petition to basically get gum off of, off of YouTube. And, that, and I gotta say, that's a real accomplishment. If you could basically get a petition to get banned off of YouTube, just clap it up right there. Just nobody just wants you anywhere. Clap them up. Clap it up. <laughs> it really just goes to show that I feel like the only way the gum could help himself or redeem himself is you're just going to have to make an apology video. At least do it a whole lot better than you did this one. And also, gum, please don't respond because if, if you do respond, you're basically just making me popular, and I only have 13 subscribers. You know, Gum just does whatever Gum does. You know what I'm saying? And like Gum, its intelligent level is just very, very low. Lower than the size of the pants. Basically, I want to make this video because I wanted to give my expression about how I felt about the whole situation where it was messed up. Look, 
actually just kidding. This was actually from my Uncle Jahai that I got two years ago. See, Gum, that's just the attitude that nobody likes to be around. And that's why everybody is making videos about you. Not because of the translation. It's just because of your actions. You're afraid to basically go to your actions and learn to take criticism by all means. So before I end the video, um, there's two shouts I want to mention, which are Fun101 Productions and Jay Hit Hattery. Also, shout out to my man Fredjin because he actually inspired me to do these ideas of Expose and stuff like that. This is my very first Expose, although I'm not really calling out its name. You know, check him out from time to time. And I know uh, he doesn't make these type of videos anymore, but I'm still proud of him of just changing his lifestyle. So check his channel out if you guys have any free time to. And again, if I forgot to shout you out, please comment down below. And please also comment what other videos I should do besides the one that I would be planning to do. Well, until the next time. Now I got to go, but I'll see you in the next video.